Hey guys, welcome to DG Gaming Tips, and we're back here with Gran Turismo Sport, but we're heading into the intermediate lessons. So you better put your big boy pants on, and let's see how we get on. All right. I said one and two. So welcome back, and in this video, we're gonna cover the intermediate lessons 25 to 32. Same format as the last three, using the DualShock wireless controller, set in expert mode, and manual gears. I guess these intermediate lessons are getting a bit more intense in terms of speed and hard cornering, but they're nice and short, and I don't think you'll have any problems getting gold if you follow these tips. Okay, here goes. Tip for lesson 25, freewheel the uphill corner. This one's similar to lesson 17 in that you can use the uphill to control your speed in the tight corner and not use acceleration, which might cause understeer. Brake late after the double cones, and turn in at the single cone and then freewheel turn up the hill only hitting the gas when you reach the single apex cone. Tip for lesson 26, dive into the corner and do a smooth super tight turn with half accelerator. The traction control has been turned off on this lesson and you can't change it. So obviously the tyres are going to want to spin and the car oversteer if you give it too much gas when you corner in. Of course, the more stylish way of taking the corner is to completely disregard the lesson objective and give it as much oversteer as you can manage. But it's pretty difficult controlling the NSX with a DualShock controller and good luck getting gold when you're going sideways. Tip for lesson 27, clean tarmac turning. This Beamer M4 does not like too much rumble strip or getting off the track onto the dirt. So keep it clean, staying on the tarmac and make sure you get out to the far right before the last turn. You don't need to drop a gear, just let off the speed and work out where you need to turn in for the tight wide radius turn. Tip for lesson 28, downhill freewheel coasting turn. Make sure you're out far left as you approach the corner and let off the gas when you hit the short dashed lines. Make a smooth tight turn at the single cone and make sure you're getting tight to the right. Hit the gas again when you enter the tunnel. And yes, those tarmac road joins are annoying as hell. Tip for lesson 29, cone to cone to cone. You should be used to this by now, but the only way you're gonna get a good time on this lesson is to use all of the tarmac and make sure you're doing wide radius turns, clipping the inner apex of each corner.
tip for lesson 30, short double corner, stay wide. This is similar to lesson 11 in that you've got to deal with a double corner. Stay out wide for the first part of the corner and work out where you need to turn in to do a smooth wide radius turn up the hill. Give it half gas until you get to the inner apex cone and then hard on the gas to the finish line. Tip for lesson 31, right five, don't cut. If you've ever watched WRC or played rallying games, then you'd be familiar with Nicky Griss saying, don't cut. Left three, don't cut. Bump up the median open. The rumble strip on the inner apex of the first corner will launch you badly offline if you try and drive over it. So do a tight wide radius turn, stay in on the tarmac, and then stay out to the left until you hit the next cone. You can stay hard on the accelerator for the rest of the course if you manage to find the right racing line through turn two. And finally, tip for lesson 32, fourth gear is king through both chicanes. It might feel like you need to drop a gear to get through the second chicane, but you can stay in fourth, find the right line and power through it all the way to the finish line. So there it is, eight tips to help you get gold on the first third of the intermediate lessons. Give me a like if that's been useful or interesting to you and consider subscribing if you want me to make more videos like these. Until next time folks, happy racing!